Okay, one of the drawbacks of filtering wine, certainly using the Vimbright filter, is that it does take quite a long time for the, the wine to pass through um, using a crystal bright pad. Um, although it is one of the faster pads, it does take quite a, quite a while. Um, I did look into getting one of the sort of pumped um, filters and it was quite expensive, looking at 155, 160 pounds, something like that. Uh, and for the amount of, of wine um, that I need to filter, it was kind of cost prohibitive. So what I decided to do is pick up a, a little pump that you can just see there, um, just above the, the Vimbrite filter itself, uh, about 20 pounds, something like that, and a little power adapter. Uh, just off shot that I just plugged in uh, about eight pounds something like that so what I've effectively done is um, add a pump just before the the Vimbrite filter just to um, pressurize if you will the wine just against that, uh, that that filter pad in there just in the hope that it might make it a little bit faster now I haven't actually tried this uh, as yet I have um, kind of proved the, the concept, if you will, with uh, water just to flush the pad, but this is the uh, the first time I'm going to give this a go. Um, so you need to, if you're going to use this this type of pump, uh, and I will throw up um, some details of where I got this from um, in the description at the bottom there, but this isn't a self-priming pump, which means that you do still need to connect that to... Um, to the auto siphon there and then basically you need to siphon wine to get it going through the filter so you actually got a flow of wine through that and then you can start the pump uh, and hopefully we'll see an increase in the in the flow of wine so I'll leave the camera about about there and uh, I'll prime the, uh, the pad and we just need to Work while we've got a bit of wine coming up that little vent. There we go. Let's put some on the end. So now the wine hopefully should start filtering through that pad, and that is just as the um, just with the weight of the uh, the wine really running through that. So what uh, what I'll just do now is is start the the pump, and hopefully we'll see an increase in in flow. So that's uh, that's quite a dramatic increase. I wouldn't know how many how many times faster that is, but I would imagine that's probably three or four times faster. Um, so I'll time this now from uh, from now, and I'll see how long it takes to uh, to pass through the filter. Okay, so just as we're getting towards the the bottom there, I'm just going to tip this up to make sure we get as much wine out pumped through as possible. So far we've been running for six and a half minutes. So six and a half minutes to pump through this much wine through a filter is uh, is a bit of a result really. was seven and a half minutes to pass 23 litres of wine through a crystal bright pad um, which if you've ever done this yourself just using the um, the gravity alone then uh, you'll know how much of a, a drastic improvement that is so I'm calling that a, a bit of a success okay I just thought I'd open up the Vimbrite filter um, just on camera just in case anyone was thinking well uh, you know the pumps pumping through too fast it's bound to have perforated the uh, the filter pad there and I haven't actually looked at this yet so we're both going to find out together There 
you go, that looks perfect to me. You can see the the lines where obviously the the um, the pressure has actually forced um, the filter pad against the little support there. It's obviously been been forced through it some pressure, but uh, yeah, I'm going to call that a success. So yeah, hope that was useful. And there's the clean polished wine.